60 minute speed build. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad you're here with us. And yes, you're seeing it. This is the most well used and boring area on any farm sim map ever. Elm Creek right across from the dealership. It is used by everyone and for a good reason honestly because you can you know buy stuff it populates or spawns at the dealership. You can go right across the street to a field and you can demo mods or you can build a farm here uh, and you're not stuck having to you know drive long distances to get your equipment from the dealership. It's just right there. So a great starter farm but it's so overused, and we've got to fix that. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to completely transform it from this to this. And we're going to do it in 60 minutes. This is how these challenges work for me. I give myself 60 minutes on the clock to build something, anything. I do not pre-build these and then delete them and then start a recording and just build what I just built. No, I do this all live or live to tape. If I mess up, I mess up. You're going to see it. If the computer crashes, it crashes. And well, I've been fortunate to not have any of that happen yet, but there's always a first time for everything. Are you ready? Let me get the clock out. I've got to give myself 60 minutes. Well, stopwatch, start. Here we go. Here's how we're going to begin. First, I am using Easy Dev, but I do try and use as many all platform mods as possible. We've got $18 million. I am having to use uh, the Paint and Terraform Anywhere mod on here because in Elm Creek, unfortunately, if we go into the map, they don't actually let you buy the little outskirts of the farms. So these, you've probably been frustrated by it before, you can't do anything with, except with farm, or excuse me, paint and terra farm anywhere, now you can. First thing we've gotta do is we've gotta fix the flatness of this map. There's nothing here. There's not even a curb on the road. It's like perfectly flat and I don't want that. I want to make this feel like we are somewhere special. So we're gonna go into landscaping, I think, and we're gonna start bringing it up. Uh, I want, not not like mountain up, but I, I want to have elevation changes. I want this to be higher over here. And I want trees, I wanna throw trees in. We don't have to go crazy with it, but we can up the uh, my mind just completely went blank on that. The strength <laughs> of of the tool, and we can make this a little bigger. And what I typically do on this, like this, this can be like, oh my gosh, it's just a big blob right now. I try to get it to an elevation that I like it, and if there are areas that need to be filled in, I do that. And then I come back with the smoothing tool. The smoothing tool really lets you take these uh, just extreme peaks and valleys and make them smooth. So we'll get it just not again, not a mountain, but over here, I, I just, I want it to be higher than it is. Now I'll come into softening and keep that strength high, as high as possible, uh, and just come in here and float over some of those peaks, and they will go down. You can actually change over to the square tool, and I find sometimes that works a little faster. Uh, we're going to eat up a little bit of time here doing this, but I think it'll be well worth it. We're not going to do a ton of elevation changes, but I want the entryway to this farm Uh just to be unique and again it's a it's a uh, excuse me a uh, it's a horse farm i about said cattle farm i want it to be a horse farm we made a hobby horse farm uh, a couple weeks ago in alma and this week i want to make a professional 
horse farm. So I'm thinking a lot of pastures, big house, uh, trees, you name it. Maybe some hay fields, because, you know, horses have to eat. Okay, so I'm just, again, smoothing that. And again, you can see we're getting some of those real heavy peaks just taken down. And I don't know how this would have been created. There's no backstory. Like everything else is flat around it, and there's just this random hill. Maybe the owner is so rich that he had all this brought in. I have no clue. You can make up your own backstory for it, but I want to have elevation changes. So we'll just kind of give it a little bit more here. Nothing too crazy. And I think we'll, we'll go with that. Now, I want to switch directions and go back to the sculpting tool, but now I want to go down because I like when you have you know, ditches on the sides of the roads. And I'm going to make my strength just a little less. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add some ditches in here and these look a little extreme right now we'll fix that but we're going to add some ditches and again come back in here with the smoothing tool just smooth those out i found when you're using a keyboard and and i, I get it console players it, it's frustrating um you can use the W key to move forward. You can use your mouse to spin. And it's really nice because you can uh, move quickly through the map making changes. There we go. Okay, I like that. And then I think, so that's kind of down. We're going to have to come over that. Trees are going to line here. The driveway, I think the driveway is likely going to be kind of in this area. Uh, what I want to do is I want to switch back over to raise and lower. I'm going to lower this down to its lowest setting. And now I just want to come in here. So this is the, the valley. And I'm going to just bring in a little bit of, of height here. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit of, of increase in elevation there. So it's just a nice hill and valley. Okay? There we go. Now, I'm going to go into, let's see here, what fields are we at? We are in field 56. So I'm now going to go into easy dev and I'm going to make 56. I'm going to set this as grass and watch what's going to happen. So 56 set as grass. And we're going to make it in the ready to harvest state, confirm. And now we just fixed that big mess of stuff that we had there. Except you can see the outer part because, again, we don't own it. That's okay. Since we can uh, paint and terraform anywhere, I'm going to come in here with this and we're just going to put meadow grass to melt. And I'll likely put meadow grass down everywhere because I want the, um, I just I, I want the ground to be like uniform. I got a little problem right there. That's the sidewalk. That's okay. We'll fix that in a minute. Uh, okay. I got that, and I I think we're probably there on height. Now, I want to start putting in some trees, so we're going to go to painting. What I like to do with trees, I like to throw down, before I put any trees down, I like to put down some forest ground. Just put some forest ground down. And all I'm really doing is using the small paintbrush and just moving in a circle. And what that does is it just it makes it not uniform. It kind of just is spotty. And I like that. Okay. So again, we're, we're working a little bit backwards here. In previous builds, we've started with usually the farmhouse. We've moved into like the stables, and then we've done the fields and the land. 
working on the land first because I think for this particular build the land is going to be far more important. Okay, I like that. Let's do... I'm going to come in. I'm going to put just grass down. Because again, I really don't like seeing the fields. I want this to be uniform. And I'm probably... You know, if I do this, I can keep the grass up in the forest area. Which is fine. Kind of around this area. I want it to be uniform meadow grass you can do whatever you want though and I think we'll do the same up here this is taking time this is taking time we've only got 60 minutes to do this but I think we'll be in good shape. Again, we're making the goal here to transform the most boring area of farm sim. The area where all the tests are done for mods. Where everyone starts their farm. And actually make it into something that's kind of cool. Like, you know, you could enjoy Elm Creek again. There go. Okay, and now, because I like to follow my own pattern, I'm going to put in the meadow grass everywhere. This is taking a ton of money. So I often get asked questions by folks that have uh, accumulated a large amount of money, either through Easy Dev or by putting out um, other various forms of generators. I think the quickest way to do it is you get the government subsidy, you put like 50 hundred of them out that's a little kind of a joke but you know what I mean you put a ton of those government subsidies out and then you just go to sleep you set you set the months to one day you go to sleep you wake up you do it again and again and again and again and again and before you know it you have millions upon millions of dollars so point being you don't have to have easy dev controls uh, to make a ton of money to spend a lot of money, you can just do a lot of, you know, sculpting work. Uh, raising and lowering the ground costs a ton of money. And if you're looking to get rid of some money, just you know, look at it go. Look at it up there. Just paint grass everywhere. Delete the grass, then paint it again, and you'll go through your money. All right, I always get a little antsy when you know I'm spending a lot of time on one thing here because we only have 60 minutes, and I've been asked like, you know, how do I prove that? I, I look, I have no way to prove that I'm actually doing this linear. You just have to take my word for it, but I, I really am. Um, I think that's part of the fun of it all because it really keeps you, uh, keeps you moving. Okay, just about done with this. And why am I putting grass all down here? Because I'm going to put buildings and you know other placeables. I've mentioned this in the past. It's easier to go ahead and put your base layer of paint now. So in this case, the just the grass paint with meadow grass on top of it, uh, and to do that right away, then to like put your placeables down and then have to go back in and paint around them. It just, I find that very annoying. We're ready for trees, I think. Uh, and I wanna, I wanna kinda, I wanna line trees everywhere. I want to put a ton of trees down. So we're gonna paint a little bit more forest. Paint a little bit more forest down. And I'm thinking, I love the railroad tracks back here. It's one of the things that I really enjoyed about Alma, is the railroad tracks, you know, they 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 kind of went through some fields and they had trees around them. It just it felt very natural to me. 
So I'm going to probably put some trees along the side there. What I'm really trying to do is isolate this factory from the grounds to make it feel like you're not right next to the co-op. Uh, then let's go into plants, and I like to then throw some plants down before putting my trees down. That way you can see what the heck you're doing. And these just, these help, um, I guess, fill out the forest area. Hey, there's the train. If you do this first and then you start putting trees in, you, and it just it feels like it's a little more full, maybe come in with some different types of uh, bushes in here. And there's, there's no rhyme or reason to this. You're just almost just painting this at random. And I think that's better than uh, painting it like slowly and methodically because this is kind of the way it would be. And there'd also probably be some, you know, some flowers in here. Just tap these in. I always get the joke of like the farm sim Bob Ross because I'm painting in little happy flowers but I guess in a way we kind of are painting here this is kind of art is it art I don't know I never thought of it that way but we're just painting in flowers happy flowers all through the map and I told you we're gonna try something that may or may not work I've got a got this idea in my mind we'll see what happens Okay, uh, so that's there. Now I want trees. So with my trees, I typically like to go like overhead view and just start putting in trees, big ones in the middle. And I like to rotate them periodically just so they're not all the same direction. And just start dumping these in here. Because the goal is, again, to create separation from the outer town with our horse farm. Those in there. And then we'll come in with smaller trees and we'll just slowly start taking it down. And I do have a mod installed that allows extra trees. I don't think you would be impacted, though, if you were putting all these trees in. I think you'd be just fine with the base game count of trees. I don't know what that is, uh, but I do think you would be okay. So again, we're just putting these trees down. We went from very big... Uh, elms to smaller and then we're going to come down and we're just going to start like pinking in as I've, I've rotated our view now and i want to start finding the gaps because i do want to make this feel like it is a a very heavily forested area You don't have to put all the same tree in, just start throwing trees in. I have moved the time forward, so we're in the fall. I, uh, I like to see, you know, fall trees, fall foliage. But we're just trying to make this as filled out as possible. I don't really love those trees down there. Maybe come back to some elms. And again, you get to a point where it really does start to fill out and it just isolates your location so nicely. You know, look, like you wouldn't even notice it. We're down here now. You can't see the co-op. You feel like we're in like this just valley almost. We can kind of see the co-op still, but okay, we'll fix that. We'll put some more trees in. Trees everywhere. 
and by rotating them ever so slightly, uh, you're just getting some different shades um, so that they don't look like they're all sitting in one, like the same direction. Um, I've, I've seen, like, if you take trees, and I can go and delete this pretty quickly, like, if you don't change them and you just, like, put them in a row like this, I don't know. To me, that, that that's not terrible, but I just I like to rotate them a little bit. Now let's delete that. Look at that. See, we're now, like, kind of in this valley where the entrance to this farm is going to be. It's beautiful. Completely different feeling than, than what was there before. Uh, I gotta get rid of these though. And to get rid of trees, many ways to do it. Uh, I am using the, the delete objects input in easy dev so I can walk up to a tree and I've got it mapped, keybind it to the left uh, button on my mouse. I just walk up, it goes away, but there are many, many, many ways to get rid of trees uh, in the game. Uh, lumberjack mod, tree be gone, just cutting them down an option too. All right, how's our time? Let's check our time. How are we doing? Well, 20 minutes in, we gotta go. We gotta go. There's the train. So I want to still see the train. I don't want it to be completely like blocked. But I do like what we've got going on here. Landscaping. Let's put a few more trees in. I'm making them just kind of smaller as, as we come out of the foresty area. Okay, that might be enough for now. What I am going to do now is I'm going to make our entryway. So I want our driveway. So I'm thinking the house is going to be kind of over here. So let's put the house in right now. And for this particular house, let's go with farmhouses. I'm just going to go with it because I know it's going to work. It's going to look good. Let's go with the Elk Mountain Ranch in what color. Do we want to make it? Let's do red. That works for me. Let's rotate just a little bit. And let's drop that in there. Okay, we had a little bit of a deformation in our ground, but not by much. So I think we're in good shape there. I like that. And now let's put in our garage area. So let's find some sheds that we like. Put those down. Uh, I like these. Let's see if I can match the color. Yes, I can match the color. And I'm going to make this kind of a three-car garage right off the back of... Right about there. Okay. Now, watch. See what happened right there? You're going, oh my gosh, how do I fix that? Pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to delete that, what I did. I'm going to go back into the landscaping tool... And I'm going to flatten this area. I'm going to choose right up by the house. Because I want the elevation of the house to extend out. Why isn't it doing it? Hold on. I might actually have to... Okay, that's okay. What I'm going to do is bring it up a little bit. I'm going to bring it up to the elevation that I want. It's about kind of right there. And then I'm going to do the flattening tool. We're going to flatten. So we're actually going to use this over by the road here in a moment to see if I can try something. And I'm just going to bring this up so that it is all the same elevation. And I am then going to go into the softening tool and we'll soften some of this out here so that it is less... Uh, Noticeable, I guess would be the right word. So there, we just made that. We can maybe increase our strength and our size. And we will 
now come in here. Just soften this up a little bit. There we go. Now, back to our buildings, uh, sheds, and I will make a, a an effort to get the actual mod list in the description. Uh, we'll put that in the description. I think both of these are, are PC only. I do apologize. Um, but there are other uh, all-platform mods you could probably... You could probably substitute to make this work. Why did it do that? I hate that. Okay, that's okay. Um, landscaping, back over to soften. It's just not perfect right there. And if you are have some perfectionism that, that's kind of hitting weird, you probably would come in here and just do a little tap of the mouse. Just to bring that up a little bit. Okay. So I've got my house, I've got my garage. We now, I need to go back in. And this is where doing the painting already really, really helped. Because I don't have to go back in now and, and repaint the entire map. All I've got to do is just fix that little area, then come back over to plants, hit my meadow grass. And I'm going to put these down. I'm going to go ahead and refill all this. Because my next step is going to be my driveway. And my fencing. And I'd rather have all of this taken care of. We don't have to fill all that in right there because that's going to be concrete. But I'd rather do this now to the best of my ability. Because we're running out of time. We can only give ourselves 60 minutes for this. Am I crazy? I don't really I haven't gone over on too many of these. I I know I've not like been 100% perfect, but I feel like I get to a point at the end where the build's going pretty well and I want to finish it and I don't feel like just quitting. Okay, so that's good. Now, let's put in our driveway. So I envision a driveway coming in this area right here that's open. So we had a little up and we had the trees I'm going to come into my sculpting, and I'm going to come right off of here. And I think probably... I don't want to make it too wide. I've noticed, you know, sometimes driveways are built a little too wide in the game. I am going to bring this up right here. This is going to be our little gully ditch area. We'll put some piping in there. And this is how you get into our farm. Um, let's paint. Now, I am very, very limited on my painting options for Elm Creek. So we're only going to be able to get clean gravel. Uh, that is one downside to this, is it has very few options for uh, paint textures. I always love when a modder takes the time and they're making a map and they add in all the other shades of grass all the other shades of of uh, gravel and concrete just it's so nice to have because you can create um just patterns and and create a little contrast in what you're working on See here, I'm going to have to make this turn ever so slightly here. Let's start our turn. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and we're also fighting the angle of the map right now, too. Uh, I could, you know, if I just was able to come into the the square tool and just make it like completely straight right here that would work but over here I was off ever so slightly and that wasn't going to allow us to really do anything so I'm doing this all freehand and that's okay it's another reason why we put the grass down first because could you imagine 
Like having to come back in here and repaint all this grass just individually so right up next to the gravel would be annoying. Uh, let's see here. Let's come up here and let's add some of our concrete back in. So this would be concrete. Just like that. And I think this would more than likely, if it were me, and I had uber amounts of money building this ranch, I kind of extend my concrete out. And my driveway will do this. I might have a little parking area right there. Maybe put like a, I don't know, a carport over there or something nice. Looks like somebody's holding their hand up like a fist, like, yeah! <laughs> Look at that, that's kind of funny. Sorry, I cracked myself up. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, bring this around. Kind of like that. And then I want this to intersect. Right here. And if you make a mistake when you're doing this freehand, that's totally fine. You can always come back in and fix that. I made a little mistake right up there. Not a problem, though. I'll just make that a little smaller. And this, you know, this is going to it's gonna have a little curvature to it right there. Just like so. And we can come fix this little mistake. There we go. Alright, we're getting there. Now, I do feel like, so I want to isolate, kind of want to isolate some over here. So I think I want to put some more trees over here. So for that, we'll do the exact same thing. I'm going to come into painting. I'm just going to paint down some meadow grass, or excuse me, some forest ground. And I've, I've got the square paintbrush on, and I'm just spinning my mouse uh, clockwise to make it not even at all. Then I'm going to come into trees. I'm going to choose my big trees. I'm going to put those in the center. And I'm going to slowly bring it down to smaller trees. And then even smaller trees. And I didn't put any uh, bushes in. I should probably put some bushes in. I want to isolate this. And I'm not spinning it right now. I'm kind of breaking my own rule, but we got to watch the time. Got to watch the time. Now I'm going to just go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit of that. There we go. Okay, now, out here, I need to figure something out here. Let's go ahead and put some dirt in here, because this is this would be kind of an area where there'd be water, and I probably need to fix that as well, because that looks just weird. So, we'll probably have dirt and dirt up to there. But in here, we might increase this just a little bit. Let's go into sculpting and make this just a little bit more. This around. Uh, I'm going to go into my decorations. I think this is built into the maps, but there's a little pipe. And I always go by it the first time. But there is a pipe, like a uh, culvert pipe. In here somewhere. Here it is. We're getting close to it. There it is. So we're going to do this. 
rotate that around over pipe there over pipe on this back end I didn't go low enough there did I that's okay landscaping just come back in here with a nice little soft tap back into decorations of course it makes me go find it again Where are you, culvert pipe? There you are. Okay, put this like this. It's not gonna match up perfectly, so probably have to, if I wanna be accurate with it, maybe it bends a little bit underneath the, so it's like that, that's fine, that'll work. And then I did see, while I'm in here and remembering it, there is, through the Elk Mountain Lodge pack, there is a, Elk Mountain Ranch, like, entry gate that we can throw down right here. And I think this would be a nice addition. Perfect. I like this. I like where we're going with this. Uh, I do want to put down some fencing over here on the, on the tree line, so we'll go into decorations, and I'm going to go for this particular side. I'm going to go with more of this... Uh, I guess this would be barbed wire fencing, maybe? I don't know. It's not very decorative, but that's okay, because I'm not going to... It's not going to have any real straight line. It's going to follow the contour of uh, the tree line. Because... The pasture areas that I will put in will end up having uh, probably straight lines. But these are just going to be more like boundary marker fencing. There we go. And I like that because, again, it just makes it look and feel kind of real. You've got trees everywhere. I might have gotten a little out of my lines there with those trees. I am not going to follow the driveway with the first fence, though. I am going to follow it uh, on just one side. So I think we'll come in here now with probably a darker wood fence. And this is where we're now going to have a little bit more straight lines. Because this will be pasture area out here. For this, I want to kind of spin it around. A little bit of curve right there. Stop right there with it and not go too far. Because I do want to come back up here. And I'm going to run this parallel with the driveway. And make the turn at the same time right here. I'm going to run this all the way up to a point by the house. Because I really do, I want to have like horses right up by the house could be really pretty. Spin this around. Right about there. Boom, we got that. Now, let's do over here something similar. So potentially coming off like right here. Maybe we'll put a sign out in this area will be parallel to the driveway. Now, if, you're, if your obsessive mind, like mine, gets annoyed right there because I'm, I'm, I'm not perfectly symmetrical, you'd want to go back in and fix that. I completely understand. But for now and for time, 
We're just going to do it this way. Swing this around like that. And I think we probably have some... Yeah, we'd be starting the barn area back here. So I would probably run this like here and just stop it right there. Now, we got to get pastures out here. So what do we do? How do we do that in the game? Uh, well, pretty simple, actually. Before we do that, though, let's let's fix this. we got to fix this. Can't leave this looking like this. Okay, I'm going to put some, some grass in here. Fix that area. And what we can do, you know, I had, I had talked about how we don't have many options for... Um, like... Uh, paintable items, paintable textures. You could come in here to painting and just go to dirt. Make your um, you know, make your brush really small and you could come in here and just paint some dirt around if you really, really wanted to. Like right here, this would probably be all chopped up. Kind of like this. And then you can put some plants grass back on it you know in certain areas that have that have grown in because grass like unless you're out you know putting a kill all on it every day it's going to grow up again you would want to take that all the way down uh for the sake of what we're doing and the sake of time and keeping my brain feeling sane i just want to make it flat to be so a highly uh, manicured parking, or excuse me, driveway. We take a lot of good care of this driveway. Okay. And then out here, I think we would probably have some plants. I don't like those plants. No, I don't want that. That's too pointy. There are probably some plants, like, growing out here in this ditch. Definitely along the fence line, I would think. And maybe even, you know, some plants. Some, uh, some flowered plants just sprinkled in here. Yes, I'm feeling this. Again, we've taken one of the most boring areas and we've turned it into something I think pretty cool looking. Uh, we got to get animals in here though. Decorations, excuse me, buildings. Let's check our time. How are we doing on time, folks? We are, we're 40 minutes in. We got 20 more minutes. We got to go. We got to go. Let's get some animals in here. So, for animals, I am going to use uh, the basic pastures pack. So in horses, and this is going to allow me, you can actually see the pasture there on those four, see those four posts and then the feeding area in the center. And I'm going to try to pack as many of these in here as I can. So I'm going to put one there and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to rotate just a little bit. You could overlap these too if you really wanted to. It would not cause any issues. So you could overlap there. We're just going to make our way up. Overlap there. And come up to about here. Put one in there. And then I'm going to put one right here. So what we just did, we put down the feeding area for all the cows. But you can't see any fencing, which is beautiful because we've already got our fencing in here. Just for demonstration purposes, let's add some animals. So to do this, you come up to the animals here and let's hit R button. Let's go, let me. Oh, you know, I might still have, no? Why aren't you letting me buy animals? It's angry with me. Let me see something here. Let's hit save real fast. I'm going to go and turn on my help window. 
Grow crops. Why isn't the change text? I'm looking at in the upper left-hand corner of uh, open analog. Animal dialogue. It's not doing it. So a little bug potentially there, but let me fix this. I want to have animals here, and I want you to see these animals. Maybe because I have them overlapped? Possibly. I don't know. Let's try something. I never thought that that would do it, but I mean, I guess it could. So let's delete these. Um, and then let's just put one down and see... Let's just drop one in here real quick. And if this doesn't work, then it's potentially a mod conflict that I've got going on here. Yeah, this is not opening the animal dialogue. Hmm. Okay. We're going to shift to a different mod. Sell that. That animal pack right there is available for all platforms, but I'm going to come now to kind of one of my go-tos, and that is the open... Um, uh, the Elk Mountain Ranch Open Pastures mod. And I'm going to put these in instead. We'll see if these work. So I want to see horses in this area. I think that's, like, I want to see it. Okay. Put that right there. And the blue area just tells you, like, where pasture is. Let's see if this loads. Open analog, animal dialogue. No. I must have some conflict with the... I don't know what's going on here, folks, but we would definitely have animals uh, in this particular area. Let's see if I can... Can I turn that off? Yeah, that turned off just fine. Is the trigger just not working? I don't know. Strange. We gotta move on, though. We gotta move on. Maybe it will come to me here as we continue building. So I'll turn that off. So now we've got an area where we, in theory, could put some horses in here. But right now it's not gonna let us do it. I am gonna paint over this, because I want those to be clean, and we'll put some plants in, some grass back down. Yeah, that's bugging me now. I'm thinking, why is it doing that? Uh, we probably would have in here fencing, I'm sorry, a decor, landscaping, painting, dirt, Animal mud. We probably have some animal mud. That around their eating area. Alright, let's run over to the other side. Let's try this one. Yeah, it will not let me do it. I don't know why that is. Uh, but that's okay. We continue on. We continue on. So we've got our our basic front entryway here. I need to put some grass down there. Okay. Paint a little here. Pants. So this is the, 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 the front yard of the farm. Now we're going to try the controversial part. We're going to see if I'm able to do this. So because I can paint and terraform anywhere, in theory, I can come into the game 
and I can go to traffic and turn traffic off. I can now come here and I can go into my sculpting tool and I'm going to raise up and I'm actually going to raise just very softly over this road. Now, if you were in uh, Had Giants Editor or you, you know, were modding a map, you could go in and delete this road completely. I don't have that. I'm on a Mac. Uh, Giants Editor is not compatible on Mac. So I've got to compromise. So instead, the road is closed here. Decorations, other. We'll put some signs up because this is the start of our property. Do we have a road close sign? Uh, road close to through traffic. Yes. Just like that. Now I can come into landscaping, painting. Now I can paint this. Because I've, I've got the, the plane of the map now over the road. So we're now, we've just removed the road. Because remember, I wanted this to be a big farm. I want this to be, I want this to have a big barn back here. So this particular area uh, is now, it's just not passable. So we probably should do the same thing over here. Decorations, other. Now maybe we extend this out a little bit. Landscaping, sculpting. Just kind of bring it up. Through here, decorations, painting, you know, maybe they're like, it's just completely washed out. Like it was a road at one point in time, but this rich guy came in and bought the property and now ruined it for everybody. No one can, can go on this road. So this is now decoration other, completely closed off the traffic. And since we have traffic turned off, there's not going to be any cars driving through here. And I don't know, you know, it's up to you if you like to run traffic or not. I sometimes turn it off just because I feel like uh, I get slightly better performance. I also turn animals off, like, um, you know, the birds and the, the, the deer that are running around. I just turn them off, and uh, I do get some better performance sometimes. Go paint a little grass in here to make this right. And we've just expanded this farm tremendously just by having this one addition. So now it runs really all the way down here. We don't have a road cutting it off in half. Oh. Now, we may want to have some hay fields. Um, so, potentially, let's see, what is this? This is field. Uh, there's the house. So, that would be field 55. So, I'm going to go into 55, change to... We'll make it grass. There we go. So now we can run over here and we can see what the heck is going on. Excellent. So that's grass over there. And then this would more than likely, this is going to be, again, barns. And so we should do painting and we should just paint over... And I just messed up my beautiful grass that I planted there, but that's okay, we can fix it. Come in here.
Put our meadow grass back down. I have this feeling in the back of my mind that I'm going to go over on time on this one. I really do. And the question will be whether or not you want me to continue. I think I will. I don't think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to keep going. So, you know, we'll call it a fail. If, if I do, if I do, on the 60-minute mark. Uh, but I'm not going to, like, I'm not just going to abandon it because I, I didn't hit the time frame. Right? So meadow grass is in there. Uh, so how do we fix that right there? Well, we go back into Easy Dev, and we we know that that was field fifty-five. So I go back in, set my fruit field my field fruit on fifty-five. Out of grass, boom, boom, boom. Now that just fixed kind of my mess that I had created. Now the field squared off once again. Fix this. Okay, let's check our time. How are we doing? 54 minutes. We have five minutes to put some barns back here. Uh, let's go into buildings, sheds. Let's go into the red barn pack. I love the red barn pack. Where are you, red barn pack? Did I pass it? Did I get rid of the red barn pack? I might have. Uh, eh. Okay, that's okay. No worries. No worries. No, there's red barn back. Okay, so let's put in... Let's do... Like this. There. Uh, then we are going to have to have an area for some equipment. So... Let's grab a... I want to make sure that I can change the color on it. Yes, I can do that. Because I want everything to be the right color. Even though I clearly... No, I guess those are pretty close. Probably going to have to do that. I don't love that garage the way the doors are on it. So let's see if I can find something else. Getting down to crunch time here, folks. Oh, you know what we can do while I'm thinking about it? We put this little area. We had mentioned a little parking area over here for somebody. Do I like that? I don't know if I like that. I know of something else that might work. Uh, decorations. Other. I am going to use... This. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So that's going to be the little area you can park in that we do two of them right there side by side now that looks weird painting so let's just let's do this but still just a little area you can park right there with the truck painting I don't like how that it's not. You know, you, you start to get a little obsessive, compulsive in areas. You start to see things and it bothers you. And I gotta remember we're on the clock. There we go. That's not bad. Oh, we know while we're here. While we are here, let's do this. Let's put down. And why does the grass go over like that? I just, it does in the game. To get rid of it, you gotta like increase the size of your um, paintbrush. And that will 
Where do we go? Where's my house? There's the bar. Oh, the house is over here. Sorry if I just made you sick. Uh, but we've got to come back over here. And we've got to do some decorations on the house. I'm jumping back and forth a little bit, but I'm worried about time. I think we might actually be out. And 58 minutes, 2 minutes. Mm. I hate that I went over, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I don't want to stop. So, if you're willing to see this through to the end, I thank you for that. Just want to have a little bit of some um, trees, some plants around the house. Just nice to have it feel a little more real. Landscaping always helps. And landscaping is not tough. You can just change the color of the ground like this. And then just come in with some plants. And then when you're all done, just grab a grab a couple of small trees, uh, something like this. Put that there. Maybe this over here, and another one of these over here, and maybe uh, let's see here, painting. Maybe this gets a little bit of something as well, right here. Back over to trees, just so you don't, like, drive through that. Well, let's go into fencing. This is one of the best, I think, uh, landscape fences you can put down on a house. At least base game-wise. And you can just kind of spin around here. Like that. And I might even do this. Just to kind of fence this in a little bit. That, again, a car would go in there. We can throw a decorative car in there right now if we want to see what it looked like. I have a few. What should we put in here? Um, how about an OBS Chevy? I'll just throw that guy right in there. Boom. Excellent. And... Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the 60-minute mark. We are officially at one hour and one minute on this farm. But I'm going to keep going because we're almost done. We're so close. We have transformed the most boring area of Elm Creek into a professional horse ranch. Uh, and I think it's looking pretty darn good. But let's keep going. I want I want to finish this out. Let's see here. Okay, let's let's be as efficient as we can. I need to make this feel more realistic. Uh, so let's put some trees in here. Kind of like this. We're going to give ourselves a little bit more time. Just a little bit. For the sake of... The fact that it is Elm Creek, right? This is the this is the base game. This is the one everyone's probably bored to death over, and we're actually making it kind of cool. I'm giving ourselves a little bit more time. Actually, don't mind that right there. Maybe a little entryway into the into the farm from this area yeah let's do that so let's put in a let's put in a fence find a fence for this we'll use what's already here a little fence like that and then we were using the um for some of the perimeter fencing i was using the 
So this, no, I was using this. It doesn't match perfectly, but I like the, I like, you can see it better. So this will just kind of spin around here. Again, just marking the perimeter of of the farm, the property that we own from property line disputes can always be a nasty subject. We're stuck in these trees. So I'm just gonna kind of run it like this down to maybe there. Okay, I like that. And we should probably do the same over here. Like we don't want we don't want people coming in through our farm, into our farm there. How are we gonna fix this? Let's grab this. Square that off like that. And again, you, you might ask, how am I doing this? Well, I'm using paint and terraform anywhere, so I'm actually able to go in and, and paint and terraform anywhere. Uh, this is not our field at all. Our part of the farm is up here. Part that we own. So I am going to make back into... Fencing, and we'll make this kind of follow the contour of this gravel drive that's already in place. Up to about there. And I think we'll we'll probably just continue because this is gonna be this is the outer perimeter of our farm. I like to have good boundaries. We've already got some really good uh, brush and bushes there. And this will just help define that boundary a little bit. Come along the railroad tracks. And down to the area where the road is closed. And over to... See, that's going to look weird. So let me demo that. And bring that fence up there. And there we go. We've completely squared off the farm. Excellent. Excellent. Now, we need to get back to... Um, we need to put some pastures in over here. So, what I'll do is we'll go back into our decorations. We'll find the fencing that we were using for the pastures. And we'll now start to put in some actual areas for horses. Because this is a big farm. We've got a lot of horses. Potentially a lot of horses. And for this, we may even, like, split some of these off a little bit. So you'd have separated... They don't have to be 100% perfect. Uh, but we've just we've got a little separation there. Now I'd like to come over... And we have to have an area for our equipment. And I, I almost feel like that would be over here. So into buildings... And we wouldn't have a ton of equipment for this particular farm. But we do need a shop. We need a working shop. That is probably way too big. Let's not do that. Let's find something. I'm probably going to use this for something. Because I love this. But not right now. Not right away. Let's see here. I hate to do it, but I'm probably just going to have to put a hole in. Uh, 
right there. Then I'm going to come to, because I've got an office in this other shed. I love these right here. This has got an office in it, and I think I'd probably put that about right here. Now I'll go back into landscaping, get our plants out. We want to fill in this yard. This has been a really hard one, folks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, kind of got a little sidetracked thinking about solutions for why those animals were not popping in. And I don't have an answer. I still don't know why they were not populating. Or that uh, trigger for buying animals wouldn't pop up. It's really frustrating. The only thing I can think of, again, is it's a just a bug in that in this map for that particular mod. And what I'm doing now is I'm just fixing the um, some of the ground elevation just so it lines up a little better. You know, we get stuck where it pops up and it just looks weird. It's not bad. Almost had a spinning beach ball of death right there. That would have not been fun. Okay, so there's the back of the house. Uh, we've got to get to... Hmm... Ah, you know what we're going to need to do? I'm going to delete that real fast. And I know, like, I'm deleting things and we're already over time. But I need to. Can I delete that? No, I can't. We'll have to get rid of that somehow. <laughs> because we got to get back to our farm. So, I'm going to take this here. And this is going to be how you get around. Like, to the back. Where we've got the buildings. And I will instead... I will still put that three-car garage in here, because I like it. But I'm just going to kind of spin this around here. And I've got to do the same back here because we want to have kind of a working area. Do we count this as a fail? I don't think we do. I mean, yeah, we've gone over on time, but I feel like we can still count this as, as long as we get it finished. I think we got to get it finished. Uh, and if we get it finished, we have to get it finished, we can call it a success, but, you know, just showing you how, my gosh, some of these 60 minutes is not a ton of time to build out a really cool map in Farm Sim, although it is a good challenge. It is definitely a good challenge. I've got a little bit of an elevation change right there, so in my sculpting tool... We're going to come in, we'll just sculpt this down a little bit. Back over to painting. We'll just loop this around to that barn right there. And maybe we want to have some chickens or something like that. We could put some chickens next to this barn. Like so. I think I want to run a small bead. Because this could, this could be potentially used as a little area back there. Back of that shop. There we 
go kind of just smooth this out. Uh, we do need to get some gates into here. So we're going to have to demo some of our fencing. Put some gates in here. Those will be back in the fences. Pretty easy, just delete your fence where you want to put your gate. And then you can come back in uh, and fill in your missing fence. As long as you're using the same fence, or you can mess it up like I just did. Um... <laughs> It should connect pretty well. There. There. So now we've got fencing everywhere. And we would need a little bit of pinging for this to come into this area. Find those fences, those gates. And then I think I would probably put in, you know, maybe it's just a connector area right here that you would drive down and you could get into those fields like that with tractor equipment. And maybe it, like, kind of loops around like this. Like so. I think I like that. Maybe put a couple trees inside here. And some decorations. We'll keep the we'll keep this fence alive and kicking. bit of landscaping, put some painting in, maybe it's a little bit of that, and a little bit of that, just spread that around. Gotta have a windmill. Buildings, generators, uh, it's in tools, no. In productions generators, slow down there, so just put a put a windmill in there, just like that. Can't get rid of that sign. So when you can't get rid of things, grab a tree and just like hide it. I, I get that it's kind of a lazy way to do it, but. You can just hide it, and then you're in pretty good shape. Uh, I think I might... I, I like this little curved driveway right here, so I might... Uh, I might finish this out, put um, some fencing. Might just let the fencing kind of come around. Because, again, it's a horse farm. This is not a... We're not producing grains here. We would have, you know, horses, so so much of the property would be... Uh, would be fenced off. You'd have pastures just everywhere. Like that, and... You know, what the heck? Let's do it. Um, let's come to... Here. And we'll 
just slowly finish this off. Before we stop, I want to put my I want my garage in here. So buildings, sheds. I took that garage out. I'm putting it back in. Darn it. Because I'm a car guy. I gotta have my garage. And I think we'll just like spin it right here. That doesn't look right. But I think I could get away with. Yes, here, here's what we'll do. Hold on. I can get away with this. I think I can at least. So we'll do this. Okay, that actually leveled out pretty nicely. And I'm going to put a little gate in here. So we'll go into decorations, fencing. Put a little gate right there. Painting. Now we'll do a little bit of landscaping for this. And I think we'll put a bit of a walkway through here. Yes. Like that. And this would probably just, this would retain being gravel out here. Kind of like that, and then uh, we got to just close the gap here. Um, you know, maybe we want to have a little bit of a backyard, so maybe it does this. Like that. And now we've got a, got a bit of a backyard. And I think there we have it a huge uh we didn't put you'd ha you would have to come back in here and put animals down and again i have no clue why these are not working it's frustrating me but you would come in you'd put your animals in here uh, you now have horses everywhere Like so, we should probably run and turn off the overlay, the active placement. And we'll tr let's try it one last time, folks. Let's see if maybe something has aligned and we can now... No. It is not allowing me... Maybe on Elm Creek you've got to buy from the dealer. I don't know. So we've gone from the most used, boring location in all of Farm Sim and turned it into something I think that's pretty cool in just 60 minutes. A little over 60 minutes. I, I might not have hit the mark, but I still think it's a pretty cool build. And you can do this as well. You wouldn't necessarily have to use... Uh, the Elk Mountain content. You could use any other type of house. The problem with the horses not showing up, uh, who knows what it was. I just canceled, or uh, closed the game, resaved, came back in, and I was able to add animals. The biggest changes that really 
I think set this apart from what's currently in Elm Creek is, well, we got rid of the road running through the actual farm. And we did that with some easy development controls. We didn't actually delete the road in the editor. Uh, we just brought the elevation up. And then we brought the elevation down in other areas to make some ditches, just really kind of create some separation between what was this open field and factories to now this peaceful, isolated ranch. And I think it's a great example of how changing elevations, adding trees, uh, shrubbery and bushes and plants can really change uh, the game and the map that you're playing on. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments section. What do you want to see built next? We'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers.